You may have been aware that over the past few years, and more so recently, a considerable amount of critical commentary has been aimed at the theory of high intensity, even me personally. In effect, a number of people have been saying, how could anybody be so damn dumb? How could Menser believe that only one set could possibly be enough? He seems like a bright fellow otherwise, but he has a critical blind spot here. One set couldn't possibly be enough. And the reason that they are having a difficult time grasping that such might be possible is that they have allowed themselves to become mindlessly hypnotized by the mere number itself, the number one. They just hate the number one here. And I must say, I'd rather have $100 than $1 too. But then, we're not talking about economics or personal finances either. The context is exercise science. What these individuals have failed to do, listener, is what you and I are about to do, and that is to forget the number one and instead look at the nature. The key term is nature. Look at the nature of what that one thing is. You see the distinction. Forget the number one and look at the nature of what that one thing is. Were you to point out to these same individuals that there are those who may require only one, again the unit or number one, one hour of exposure to high intensity sunlight stress to develop a suntan, they might be surprised it's still the number one. If you don't like the number one, you could alter the standard of notation. Instead of one hour of high intensity sunlight, you might say a hundred zillion photon units of light, a very large number. Or instead of one set, you could say 100 units of intensity. You may know of the top bodybuilder, Flex Wheeler. Flex trains at Gold's Gym in Venice, California, again where I conduct my personal training business. Flex trains with a partner, a big fellow named Rico McClinton. Rico knows that I have trained Dorian Yates in the past, and he has apparently read some of my work. Over the past two years or so, Rico has made it a habit to periodically tease me at the gym on this subject, but always in a good-natured fashion. Every now and then, Rico would pipe up so all of his gym buddies could hear and get a laugh. Hey, Menser, he would say, you still believe that crap only once set is all you need to grow? And at different times, I would use varying analogies to jog his thinking, to provide Rico with a different perspective on the issue. Things like, well, Rico, it only takes one bullet to kill a person, so why can't one set be adequate to stimulate growth? Or on another occasion, it only takes one well-placed blow from a hammer to stimulate the explosion of a stick of dynamite with no number of lesser blows having the same effect. And he was never impressed by such. Then here recently he said it again, Mike, you really believe that stuff, don't you? It only takes one set to stimulate growth. Now I did note this time at least, Rico was using the proper terminology, stimulate growth. In fact, he seemed more sincere about the issue. This time, however, I stopped Rico Cole, providing him with what just may be the perfect analogy. Rico, I said, only one sperm was required from your daddy to stimulate the growth of your mother's egg into a fully fashioned human baby, namely you. Only one sperm, literally, to stimulate the growth of all of your skeletal muscles and your skeleton, in fact, also your skin, guts, hair, brains, and so forth. Rico was highly impressed and said, Mike, you got me with that one. Nothing more to say. I'll never bother you about it again. What I did was give Rico a new perspective on the issue of number one. And what I'm asking you, the listener, to do is to discard what you thought you knew and take a fresh, new, unobstructed look at this subject. Often, when taking a new client through a workout, he'll note the fact that I have him performing but one set per exercise, whereupon he'll ask, but Mike, you only have me doing one set. I feel like I should do another set. And I respond to the effect that the feeling he has is fear, specifically a fear that he hasn't performed enough exercise to stimulate growth. And that if he could provide me with one good reason, not two, just one good reason why I should consider allowing him to do one more set, I would consider it. And after all these years as a trainer, not one single individual has ever given me one good reason. And that is the issue, listener, precisely how many sets one should perform. If you honestly believe that one set is not enough, it is incumbent upon you to tell me precisely how many sets are required. I think I would like that three reps at one, positive, static, and negative.